All right, this is John Cola with DiscountJuicers.com, and today we have a juice off. So I'm so excited. One of the big questions I've been getting lately is, hey, John, what's the best single auger juicer? So we have the horizontal single auger juicer here, and this is the actually the Omega 8004 model juicer, and right here next to it we have the Omega VRT 330 model, and this is the vertical single auger juicer. Now they're both single augers, they run on the same principle, basically you put the produce in there and an auger goes and crushes the produce and then compresses the space that it's in because it runs into the screen smaller and smaller and smaller until literally the juice is squeezed out. But which one is better? Well, you know what? Which one is better depends on what you want to juice, and that's what I find, found out using both of these machines. Each one has its pros and cons, and only you can decide which one will best meet your needs. So for example, I'll go over some of the differences right now. So first is the warranty. So the warranty on the Omega 8004 and 8006 model is a 15 year warranty. Now that's the longest warranty in the juicing industry. On the Omega Vert juicer, that has a 10 year warranty. The other differences are basically how the juicers work. So for example, this one has a feed chute that's you know a circle and about this large, and this juicer's feed chute is a crescent, and it's you know a little bit larger overall than the diameter of this. So that means how fast can you feed the produce in the juicer is dictated by the feed chute. It's also dictated on how fast the juicer can accept the produce in. So as you put the produce in on the Omega 8004 juicer, there's a tiny auger that basically chunks off a little piece of a carrot at a time. Whereas on the Omega Vert, the auger is a lot larger. And let me go ahead and show you that real quick. We'll pull the auger out of this. Here's the large auger. And as you can see, as the produce comes in here, it spins around and literally chops off a pretty large piece. And on the Omega 8004, Four, for example, as the produce goes in, it goes in like this, and, the, and it spins, and then the, it's cut off. So a much smaller piece is cut off at a time. So what this translates into is that it's going to take less time to juice a similar amount of produce in the Omega Vert juicer. So if you know, you're worried about juicing taking a long time, the Vert's going to be a little bit quicker. But on the flip side, in my opinion, in my experience, the vert takes about twice as long to clean. So twice as long might sound like a long time, but you know what? The Omega 4000, 8004, excuse me, takes me about under two minutes to clean. So this juicer takes me under four minutes to clean, and four minutes is still, you know, a really quick cleaning time. Some other juicers, you know, take a lot longer than that. So let's go ahead and reassemble these juicers. So those are the, some of the basic differences. Now we're going to get into the differences on juicing. So, you know, if you ask me, hey, John, what juicer juices wheatgrass better? Well, I'll tell you the honest truth based on my experience. This juicer will probably extract a 10% higher yield than the 8004. But that being said, when you're juicing wheatgrass alone in the Omega Vert, it tends to make some squeaking sounds. Now, all juicers make some squeaking noises when juicing wheatgrass just, be, just, just because of the consistency of the wheatgrass, but the Omega, Omega Vert seems to make a little bit more squeaking noises than, you know, say the Omega 8004. So if you want to juice wheatgrass alone, I'd probably recommend the Omega 8004 juicer. If you want to juice wheatgrass along with something like, you know, some cucumbers, for example, or some celery, then if you're juicing wheatgrass with a combination of this, so you put a little wheatgrass, put a little celery, put a little cucumber, then you won't have the squeaking noises. So that's the differences on the wheatgrass. The next difference is actually that the Omega 8004 is not just called the Omega 8004 juicer, it's actually called the Omega 8004 Nutrition Center. So besides juicing, it has a whole range of other features. You could grind you know, whole coffee into ground coffee. You could take frozen bananas and make frozen banana sorbet or Raw food is called that banana ice cream. So it's a great substitute for eating high fat ice cream, eating 100% banana sorbet, which is what it really is. You can do other frozen fruits such as strawberries and mangoes and pineapple and even raspberries. So it's really good. A good way to get more fresh fruits and vegetables in your diet. Uh, this will also allow you to make nut butters. Uh, you know, for example, putting roasted peanuts through here will make a nice a peanut butter. You can put other kind of nuts in there too and it'll, you know, grind that up. 
And, and since the Omega 8004 is so powerful, it'll literally grind up, it, it's like almonds, for example, it'll grind up into almond flour. And the reason why it doesn't come out as a butter is because there's not enough oil content. So you can add some almond oil back into that powder to make that nut butter that you're used to buying in the store. So this has a lot of other features, whereas this Omega Verb Juicer is just a juicer. It doesn't have any other features. It's not designed to do any of those other things. The other difference is that the Omega Verge Juicer, if you want to juice fruits, now don't get me wrong, the Omega 8004 will juice fruits just fine, it's that the Omega Vert VRT 330 Juicer does a lot better job at juicing fruits. It accepts them a lot quicker, so juicing is a lot faster. It also, in my opinion, based on my tests, get a, gets a higher yield, so it extracts a higher yield. I mean, in this juicer, and check out my other videos on YouTube for seeing, seeing this in real live action, you could juice cherries with the pits. Now don't try that on this juicer. You're gonna break this juicer if that happens and it's not gonna be under, covered under warmth. We're gonna juice some pineapples in the Omega Verb juicer. And let's just see how fast and easy it juices pineapples. If you wanna push the pineapple in, you only ever wanna use the pusher when you're pushing produce into the Omega Vert. And look at that, it literally just sucks the pineapple in. I don't even have to push it in. Out this side comes pineapple juice and out this side is the pineapple pulp. You know we want to be drinking fresh produce, juices made out of fresh fruits and fresh vegetables. It's a lot more nutrient dense and rich and has all the enzymes whereas juices from the store and store bought juices have been pasteurized and they're missing a lot of the essential nutrients. And as well you know juices that you make fresh taste a lot better. Next we're going to juice kiwis. Most people think of kiwis as you know they would never think of juicing kiwis but I, I like to juice kiwis so all you literally need to do is cut the kiwis in half and you can even leave the skin on there and all so most people don't know that you can actually eat the skin of kiwis most people just don't like them because of the texture but it's totally fine to eat so we're just gonna dump the kiwis in there we're gonna make 100 percent kiwi juice have you ever seen kiwi juice for sale at the store I don't think so so let's go ahead and juice some kiwis. And once again, you know, with the Omega Verb Juicer, it's really easy to juice kiwis. Now the same thing on these kiwis, we cut them in half. Now we couldn't fit these into the Omega 8004 juicer. We'd have to, you know, quarter them instead of cutting them in half. So the reason why you maybe go with the Omega 8004, which we're going to just juice in one second, is if you want to maybe do straight green. So say you want to make a juice, and I don't necessarily recommend this, of 100% collard leaves. That's where the Omega 8004 would shine over the VRT model. This just handles the leaves a lot better than the VRT. So the VRT is definitely better for the fruit. For the combinations, like if you wanted to juice carrots, which we will juice in a second, carrots, celery, cucumber, and greens, I'd go with the uh, VRT. The reason why is that, you know, with juicing carrots in the Omega 8004 juicer, you know, it just doesn't really work that well. The vert really handles the carrots much, much better. And now let's go ahead and turn on the Omega 8004 juicer and we're going to juice some, some greens. So we're going to juice 100% collard leaves there. Now we're going to put some cucumber in there. And now when I make my green juices, I like to use a, a base. And my base is usually of cucumbers and celery and green juice. And when you make green juices, you want to make a green juice that's 75% base, and the base being, you know, celery, cucumbers, or carrots, and you know, 25% of the juice being greens, dark leafy greens. So you can see here we have some cilantro. Cilantro is really good to juice. Let's put that in our green juice here. So both these juices are really good. They both run at the 80, low 80 RPM. So it's going to oxidize your, you know, juice the least out of most juicers on the market. Most juicers run at a lot higher RPM. They're both good for greens, but you know what? The, I think the VRT is a little bit more versatile in the sense of, of juicing a more wider variety of fruits and vegetables. There are some exceptions. So now we got some spinach here. I think our kiwi juice is just about done. So you can see here we have a nice cup of kiwi juice. Now this is nice, rich, and thick, as, as will be most fruit juices. Let's go ahead and dump a couple carrots in here. Now always when you're juicing green juices you want to use some apple because the apple will make your green juices sweet especially if you're not used to drinking straight green juice. 
So because of the smaller feed chute on the Omega 8004, it does take a little bit longer to juice. But the cleanup is easier. <laughs> so you know, it's kind of a toss up. So the question is, John, you know, if I can only buy what juicer, you know, one juicer, which one should I get? Well, in most cases, for the average person, I would recommend the Omega VRT 330 juicer. It's a lot more basically um, forgiving, especially on a wider variety of produce. So, you know, things like carrots, it juices a lot easier than on this. Fruits, it does amazing at fruits. It's probably the best juicer on the market today to juice fruits. So, it's a lot more versatile in juicing, but, you know, once again, the 8004 has its benefits. If you're juicing straight greens, probably this is the way to go. If you definitely want something easiest to clean, this is probably the easiest juicer in the world to clean. It takes me under two minutes, actually takes me a minute and a half. Um, this is it. You know, it's pluses and minuses, and you have to figure out the best juicer that's going to best meet your needs. So this is John Kohler with DiscountJuicers.com. Be sure to visit DiscountJuicers.com slash YouTube for special promotional offers for YouTube visitors.